Okay, folks, you know what happened? I forgot something from my last video. Some important new developments have occurred since the filming of my last video, and you should be so glad that you tuned into this amended video with additional information which may help you with your Schmidt rotating 1970s illuminated beer light. You know what it is? I'm going to show you. I forgot to show you the edge here where it was stapled down to the masonite. There's staples in there, and they're fastened down pretty good. But what you're going to want to do is get something even thinner than this, but go in straight on the staple and slowly and carefully pry them up. And you can see you've got a few white marks there. A little black Sharpie will take care of that. But once you've got those up, you can access the inner part of the side. How am I going to fix that, Barry? How am I going to put the staples back in there? Well, you know what? You can't. Because I found through trial and error and wrecking a few signs that once you take the big old staple gun and hammer it down on that fragile edge, splits fill, wrecks your sign. So you don't want to do that. You know what you do after your repairs are done? Just run a bead of silicone caulk around there. Some people use glue, other adhesives, and that will stick it down. But I've got a new development here. I thought the motor was burned out on this, and it's not. Well, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I love, I love, I love, I love that I solved this. I solved this. Okay, I've got my new 15-watt bulb in there, frosted, so it won't melt it. But, you know what? I'm not going to tilt this because, but these little motors here, they are workhorses. And you know what? People go, if I run my beer light, do I, uh, do, uh, am I in danger of wrecking the motor or destroying it? You know what? These things were meant to be run 24-7 a lot of times. They certainly were run every day that the bar was in business. So you know what? These motors want to run, baby. And you know how I fixed this one up? I could tell it wanted to go. I could hear a little sound in there. You know what the magic fix is? You turn it by hand. Then you get the old WD with the directional spout and you work it a little by its hand, by hand, and you can tell it wants to go. You can hear a little grinding in there. So with a few squirts of WD-40 down in that post, I got to wipe that off. Yeah, I should have cleaned that up. But I got this motor going. So this Facebook find that was out in the garage, all dusty, uh, wife was cleaning out the garage. It did not work when I got it. I've got the cracks fixed with my metal tape. And you know what? Now, this is structurally sound. It's not flopping around, pieces going everywhere. And you see some of the abrasions and stuff on here? What you do is you take a brown shark pee and hit that white, and then you can kind of dull it with your thumb. No, Barry, that is not archival. It will not go in the Smithsonian if it has touch-up or restoration. You know what, buddy? It's a $200 beer sign on its best day. It's going to be hung in a garage or a dingy basement. If it looks a little better, yay for you. I did it. You can do it. It doesn't take much artistic talent. But just dull it with your thumb. And look at that. Previously, I don't know if you can see, that was all cracked with a big hole through it. Now it is structurally stable with the addition of our metal duct tape. So, I hope you found those two additional tips interesting. I'm going to put my uh, beer goblet on the side with its newly fixed hole. Not the most pretty thing, but it's not going to leak light through there and be as noticeable. And you know what? It rotates. Perfectly serviceable beer light. For more beer tips and cosmetic fixes, tune in to iBuyOldBeer.com. I appreciate you watching. I'm Barry the Beer Guy. Stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. I'm out.